And a day before the new iPhones arrive in stores, Apple CEO Tim Cook releases a message to all Apple customers about their data and privacy. The letter, posted on Apple's website, says that security and privacy are integrated into the design of the Apple products. With three takeaways on this letter, we're joined by WSJ tech editor Brian Fitzgerald. Brian, thank Hi. you so much for being with us today. Sure, nice seats. So, uh, thanks, you like them? They're I comfy. do, they're very comfortable. <laughs> so let's start with the phrase, you're the product. So. Right. Apple is obviously positioning itself away from some other big guys using the notion that the internet doesn't have to come at the expense of privacy. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a good zinger by, by Tim Cook. And, and it works because it's something that I think you've heard before, people have felt before. Uh, you know, you've heard that there's nothing free on the internet, and that's true. So when you sign up for these free services, uh, and I think Two of the ones that, that Tim Cook was really trying to, to, to take a shot at here are, are anything involving Google and Facebook. You sign up for these free services, it's not free. You're giving them something, and what you're giving is your personal data. And in turn, that personal data, whether it's the, 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 the contents of your email that can be skimmed from a super high level, uh, not word for word of meaning, uh, but also on Facebook, your very personal data, that can be used for market, that's given really to marketers to turn around and sell you products. Very, very good, Zinger. The letter also states, we've never worked with any government agency from any country. Right. So I guess that's true. The government hasn't asked them for any information on people. Well, you know, look, this, this is a thematic thing in Silicon Valley. Um, a lot of tech companies were caught with their pants down after the Snowden revelations, and, and they were flat-footed, really. And, and so they're trying to sort of reestablish some control here. And so what you're seeing, and Apple's not alone on this one, they're just sort of joining the chorus and saying, we're going we're gonna to take some steps here so that you don't have to keep finding out stuff that's happening with your data where we look like we're not being proactive. So can we expect them then to be transparent about any future government requests? I think they're going to try to be. I mean, they have to work within, you know, the, they have to work within the law. Right. Uh, and so, but insofar that they can say the government has asked us for X data and we have supplied Y data, uh, they're going to try to do that. And that's, that's, what you've seen a lot of tech companies like Google and Yahoo, et cetera, oh, are and doing. And the letter also states that they're going to work hard to earn and keep customers' trust. And this is right. a big one yeah. right now after the whole celebrity photo fiasco. Right. Tell us about that. Right. So, you know, one interesting part of all this is that, you know, Apple is really making a statement in this letter about privacy. But it's hard to think about privacy and not think about security because in a lot of people's minds, they're, they're bundled together. Um, and so... Apple really took some lumps over, over that celebrity hack, and I think what they're trying to do is, is they're trying to do what they were criticized for, which is to help their customers. You have to help them along with some of these privacy things. Absolutely. So here are our tools. Here's what you can do so that you are not um, the target of, say, a phishing attack, which we think is what happened to the celebrities. Because in people's minds, you know, Apple can say, it wasn't our fault, it was a phishing attack. They can say that all they want. Sure, but people can say, why weren't the security questions harder right, or exactly. different, or why is right. it a different process? The optics are terrible. No matter what, it comes yep. back and it looks like yep. they have a security problem. And it's really bad timing when you're when you're about to launch or have just launched Apple Pay, which is a financial... Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. you know, like, here, give us your credit card numbers, so to store them, you know... So we, we promise to, to install better security questions for your money than right. for your photographs. Right, right, <laughs> right. All right. right, thank you so much, Brian, thank for you. that.